Hello and welcome everybody to the review of the Golden Dragon Poker Chips. I paid for these with my own money, a sample set from BR Pro Poker, the makers of the famous Tiki Kings, which is one of my favorite sets of all time. If you want to read or watch that video, you can find a link somewhere. These have a lot of promise. Have a good look at the colors, Fraction 25, 1, 5, 25. And you know, BR Pro Poker is really good about doing semi-custom or custom orders. So you can kind of change whatever you want if you want, or at least certain things, and make your own custom set. So we're gonna put these to the test today and see how they work out as chips. Do I like them more than the Tiki Kings? Well, you'll have to stay tuned to find out. For starters, we need to play a hand. So this is the Faded Spade 2.0 plastic deck right here. Still here, still kicking, still thriving here. Good plastic set. So everybody at home, shuffle your cards and deal yourself two cards. This is just, it's its a YouTube video. Come on guys, we're not playing for anything. And let me cut this and tell us what you had in the comments below. So just like this, one, two. That represents my hand. What should I use as a card keeper? How about some gold, some gold chocolate right there? We're gonna burn a card right here. Looking pretty nice, Golden Dragon. I see you there. I don't even know what I have. I'm playing blind. Yeah, that's exactly, yeah, that's, you should be terrified based on the look on my face, my poker face, petrified. Like the forests in Arizona. Interesting hand. Let us know what you had in the comments below. Do you want to see it? You guys can just pay up your all your gold chocolate right now because I had the the seven and the the queen, which you know. Yeah, we're just gonna put those back on this stack, and we're just gonna continue on with the the review here. Oh, long story, birthday part treasure hunt. You guys, it's parenting. Who knew? Involves so much, so much chocolate. It's a rough life, but somebody's got to do it. So we're going to take some quick measurements and compare these to everything else on the planet. First, we're going to use our 100% poker approved metal digital calipers. But it's metal, you're going to scratch your chips. Yeah, well, I'll do it for you guys. Anything for my viewer, not anything, I can't, I don't, I don't want to jump off of that plank, but I'll do it for you. Okay, let's destroy some chips here. Metal on a ceramic poker chip, which is just hard plastic, let's face it. Um, it's 1.5 inches. Who's running this show anyway? If there was only a mode button, I could switch it to see the millimeters, 39.18. So 39 millimeter chip. Let's see if that's consistent across a couple of these other denominations here. Oh, did you see that? Within a within a tenth of a mil, was it a tenth of a mil? Yeah. Easily, easy. All right, looking pretty good so far. And then we're gonna weigh it here. So by way of comparison, this is something that always seems to come up. One of the most common types of casino chips that people are familiar with are Paulson's used by lots of large casinos. In Las, on the Las Vegas Strip, lots of those casinos use Paulson's. And you can see these are running nine, almost 10 grams, okay? So let's just grab another one just for the sake of argument. So that's what I would consider, most people consider that kind of casino weight. So let's see how the ceramics do. There's no metal slug in here. They're just a hard plastic that have a nice weight to them. 9.3, so just a tiny bit on the light side, about half a gram. I don't know if I could feel half a gram just picking it with my fingers. When you pick up a whole stack, that would it'd be more obvious if you're comparing stacks of 20. So, you know, right around nine and a half grams, a good weight. They have a good weight to them. Other questions that people like to discuss, how do they shuffle? Uh, ceramics, depending on who you talk to, I've had Tiki Kings for years and I've been shuffling ceramics for years. I feel like they feel really good. Uh, and because I have so much experience with them, I would describe it as feeling like a ceramic, which I know doesn't really help you, but it feels good. The uh, flatness, you can see, 
uh, is very stable. If you really poke chips with the stick, you can get them to misbehave generally. Wow, those are really flat. Those are really, even like casino chip here. So these are broken in. So you see how flat these are? Pulsons are very flat, but I can hear a little rocking here, and these sometimes I can get to misbehave. So, wow, yeah, that was incredibly flat. That's probably the flattest chip I've ever tested on the planet. All right, well, there you go. The goal, <laughs> the goal, if flatness is very important to you, then this is the answer right here, at least straight out of the box. No telling if they warp. The other question that I have as a parent is if a child gets a hold of this and bites into it, do they break? Most ceramics don't break unless you put them in a blender, but I don't know anybody who would do that. I mean, come on. That's just borderline crazy. So, all in all, isn't that from a Cars movie? So, overall, I'm thinking about what I don't like about this. Now, I'm half Asian, and I look at these and I can tell, you know, Asian, in my Asian culture, Hong Kong, there is a lot of dragon culture. And so, seeing this, I obviously think of that. I also think of a lot of Chinese restaurants that happen to be called Golden Dragon. But this is pretty appealing. I like it. My personal barriers are that I see, to me, when I look at this, I'm reminded of a lot of, like when my mom goes to Hong Kong and she comes back and she brings back all this like tourist trash for the kids, you know, this kind of makes me think of that. But you see, they're very high quality. For me, just because of the novelty of it, for me personally, I would choose the Tiki Kings. I suspect these would be novel to other people and they would enjoy them. So as far as the design and colors, I have no complaints. If you look at the design, it's a radial design that doesn't require any edge spots. So you can see the edge spots can be anywhere, which saves production costs, which is passed on to the consumer. So this is a great ceramic design. They're not trying to mimic these edge spots by lining up you know, anything on the face with these edge spots. So I really like that. This is a really solid design, really solid colors. I like the blue fraction right here, the 25 cent, the white one. It's just crystal clear what you're getting. So the last thing I guess to do is tell you, th these are very high on my list as far as quality and performance and design. There's very little to dislike about these. We are going to do a quick sound test. Ceramics can be a little bit bright compared to some other chips. Let's just keep it simple today. Uh, we're going to do... Ah! Let me have a quick look around. Oh, I do have some more. Um, we're going to throw in some bank chips as well. All right, so we have the ceramics, and we're going to compare them against some Paulson Casino chips, some bank from Apache Poker chips, uh, China clays. And then we're going to use some Monte Carlo Poker Club ABS Metal Slugged chips. So I hear a difference there. Not sure if the mic is going to pick that up. Again, that's pretty close, but there's a difference there. And finally, the ABS Metal Slug Chips versus the Golden Dragon. And that's more of a difference. I'm hearing more of a difference there. Again, I hope the mic picks that up. So I personally don't like this design as much as the Tiki Kings, but this is a really solid chipset. I mean, let's review the colors here real quick, how it steps. So there's, you know, there are usually BR Pro Poker where I purchase these, usually has a good selection of customized chips. You can customize things or semi-custom things. You really have to contact them and see what they can do for you. I know for the Tiki Kings offer some custom options. So if you want some different denominations, it's likely they'll be able to help you out. At a, and if not, you can do full custom. I mean, the world's your oyster. It looks like a solid color set here, a solid color way. Just I'm, I'm, I'm trying to nitpick and I'm struggling. Dragons are all the same color, so there's the continuity, unity, and harmony, and you're talking you know, the radial design and the pink. The, none of the colors are close to each other. There's no confusing. 
the black versus anything else. I'm just imagining these in a stack. Yeah, that's a good. You could say that the edge spots might be a little bit too consistent. Oh, they change. There's some brown in there. That's it's a really good. Yes, if you're thinking, if these are at the top of your list and you're wondering, are these good chips? Yes. Uh, you can look at the price right here. I'll take a screenshot from the website. The price is always, price is an availability always subject to change. You guys know the routine. Let me know your thoughts about the Golden Dragon. What do you think of BR Pro Poker? It's always been a reliable vendor for me. Like I said, I paid for these with my own money. Didn't tell them who I was, just ordered them and they sent them out and they're lovely. So excited to read your comments. If you want to support the channel, I have an Amazon shop in the links in the description below. I try to keep that up to date. And subscribe if you want more poker chip content. Thank you so much for watching. My name is John Hobby.